Hi, good day everyone. This video is about the properties of exponents. Again, according to the definition, exponents it is also known as the power or degree. It tells us how many times the base will be multiplied by itself. So for example, let's say we have this given expression. Let's say we have 5 raised to 3. Again, this value or this 5 will serve as the base and this small number which is 3 will serve as our exponent. Again, this 5 cubed means we need to multiply the value of 5 3 times to itself. So that is actually equals to 5 times 5 times 5. And if you want to simplify this, um, it will give us 5 times 5, which is 25, times another 5, which is equals to 125. So that is the concept of this exponents. Um, another, let's say we have this 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 since we are multiplying this certain number which is 2 um, 4 times to itself that means this 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is actually equals to 2 raised to 4 okay so that is the concept of exponents now let's talk about this list of properties so we have this property number 1 which is the product rule okay for product rule, according to this, uh, to its definition, so if we have this same base, we need to add their exponent. So obviously, if we have this given problem, okay. So according to our illustration, we have x raised to five, okay, times x raised to three, okay. And according to its solution, since we have this product rule, if we are multiplying terms with same bases or, or same base. We have the same x, so just copy the base and simply add their exponents. So our first exponent is 5, okay, plus our second exponent, which is 3. Therefore, the final answer for this given problem is x raised to 5 plus 3, which is 8. So that is the answer, okay, x raised to 8. So if you want to give some illustration about um, for this given problem, again, this x raised to 5, okay, this is actually equals to x times itself 5 times, right? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we need to multiply this to another set of expression which is x raised to 3. Okay, we have x raised to 3. That means it will give us x times itself 3 times. Okay? And if since we have this um, same basis or same values of x, we need to simply count their um, terms or count the number of terms so it will give us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 that means that if you simplify this this expression is actually equal to x raised to 8 okay so that is the illustration for this given problem right so let's try to answer this another set of problem let's say we have um, example number 2 let's say we have 2 um, m squared right times 2m cubed. Let's say we have this given problem. Okay? So again, same rule. Um, according to our um, technique here, so we need to multiply um, the numerical coefficients and multiply its corresponding variables if we have. So it will give us 2 times 2, okay? Times we have this m squared. Okay, so th this m squared is actually equals to m times itself, 2 times. Okay, and we also have this m cubed, which is multiply m three times to itself. So we have times m, m, and m. So if we want to simplify this, this one will give us two times two, so which is equals to four times we have this set of m's. Okay, just count the number of m. So we have one, two, three, four, five. That means we have m raised to five, or simply four m raised to 5. Okay? So that is our first concept. Now, if you want to answer this, actually with the use of this product rule, so just multiply their numerical coefficient, okay, and add the exponents of our same basis. So if you want to answer this with the use of this product rule, so that means it will give us um, 2 times 2, okay, so multiply the numerical coefficient and multiply this to m, Okay, so we have m squared times m cubed. Since we have the same base, according to our rule, we need to simply add their exponents. So we have this 2 plus 3. Okay? So that means this one is actually equals to 2 times 2, which is equals to 4 m 
and we have this 2 plus 3 is their exponent, we have 5. So the answer is 4m raised to 5. Alright, so that is our product rule. Next, we have the second rule which is the quotient rule. Again, according to the quotient rule, if we have the same base, we need to subtract their given exponents. Okay, so according to our illustration, we have this setup example. We have x raised to 9 all over or divided by x raised to 5. Okay, so let's answer this one with the use of some illustrations. So this x raised to 9 is actually equals to x times x or times 2 itself 9 times. Okay, so there, there is 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, okay, and wait. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay, so that is um, 4x raised to 9. Next, for x raised to 5, so this is equals to um all over x times x times x 5 times. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So since we are under division, so we need to cancel out the like terms. So if you want to cancel out like terms here, it will give us um, cancel these expressions or terms 4 and 5. And copy the remaining terms, which is x times x times x 4 times. Okay? So this um, expression is equals to x raised to 4. So that is the answer for this given problem. Now, um, let's answer this um, problem with the use of this quotient rule. So again, according to the quotient rule, if you want to divide an expression with same bases or same terms, okay, so we need to simply subtract their given exponents. Okay, so if you want to subtract their exponent, therefore, it will give us copy the base, okay, and subtract their exponent. So we have 9 minus 5, and the answer is x raised to 4. 9 minus 5 is 4. Okay? So that is for the concept of this quotient rule. So let's try to answer this given problem. Let's say we have this problem number 2. Say we have um, 3n raised to 4 raised to 4 all over 3n cubed. Okay? So again, same concept. So we need to divide their numerical coefficient and divide their um, variables. If we have like terms. So since we have 3 divided by 3, so we simply need to cancel this 3. So we have 3n raised to 4 all over 3n cubed. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, so cancel out. Therefore, we have n raised to 4 divided by n raised to 3. Since we have the same base, copy the base, okay, and subtract their given exponents. So we have it will give us 4 minus 3. Therefore, the answer for this given problem is n raised to 1 or simply n. Okay, so that is for the concept of quotient rule. Next, let's proceed to our third property, which is the power rule. Okay, so the power rule number one. So according to uh, the power rule, so if we have this power raised to another power, that means we need to multiply their exponents or the values. So for example, let's say we have x cubed or the quantity of x cubed raised to 4. Okay, so as you observe, we have this um, exponent raised to another set of exponent. Okay, so that means we simply need to distribute this exponent to our expression and multiply, okay, the set of exponents. So if you give us copy the base, we have this exponent and multiply it to its um, power or degree or another set of exponents. So it will give us 3 times 4. So the answer for this given problem is simply x raised to 3 times 4, which is 12. Okay, so that is the concept of power rule number 1. So let's try to answer this example number 2. Let's say we have this. Let's say we have 3 um, x cubed, or the quantity of 3 x cubed raised to 2. Okay, so again, same procedure. Since we have this set of exponents, okay, we have this squared. So we need to distribute this value, okay, to our base. So we have this base as 3x cubed. So it will give us um, 3 squared, okay, we have 3 squared times, distribute the squared again to our variable which is x cubed. So we have um, this 
times x cubed times 2. Okay? So we need to multiply their exponents. That means this value is equals to 3 squared is equals to 9. Okay? So 3 times 3 is 9 times x raised to 3 times 2. So 3 times 2, that is equals to 6. Therefore, we have x raised to 6. So the answer for this given problem is 9x raised to 6. Okay? So that is the concept of this um, power rule. Okay? Next. Um, we have this power rule number 2, okay, which is actually connected to our previous example. So according to power rule number 2, so we have this product to power. So we need to distribute to each base. Okay? So we need to distribute the value of our exponent to our bases. So for example, according to this given um, illustration, so according to our illustration, we have this 4x cubed or the quantity of 4x cubed squared. Okay? So again, since we have this set of base, we need to distribute its value. Okay? So we need to distribute the value per exponent. It will give us 4 squared. This equals to 4 squared. And distribute again to x cubed. So it will give us times x cubed times 2. Okay? So if you want to simplify this, 4 squared is equals to 4 times 4, which is 16, times x raised to 3 times 2, which is equals to 6. So the answer for this given problem is 16, x raised to 6. Okay? So let's try to answer this example number 2, about power rule number 2. Okay? Let's say we have um, the quantity of 2x raised to 4 raised to negative 1. Okay? Since according to power rule, we need to distribute the value of our exponent to its base. That means it will give us, um, again, distribute. We have negative 1 to 2. So it will give um, 2 raised to negative 1 times next is negative 1 to x raised to 4. So it will give us x raised to 4 times negative 1. Okay? So if by simplifying this, it will give us... 2 raised to negative 1 times x raised to 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. So the answer for this given problem is 2 negative 1 x negative 4. Okay? Next, um, since in mathematics, um, if we have this negative exponent, that is illegal. So we need to modify this final answer. Okay? So we need to apply our next um, property, which is the negative exponent. Okay, so according to um, this property or the negative exponent number one and number two, so if we have this given negative exponent, we need to flip, okay, or reciprocate the term and change the sign to positive, right? So that means if we have this 2 raised to negative 1 times x raised to negative 4, okay, so we need to reciprocate its um, value. So per term. So we have this um, denominator as 1, okay, and another denominator for 1, okay? Therefore, it will give us 1 all over, okay? So in short, dear students, um, the denominator of this given expression is simply invisible 1. So if you want to reciprocate the value, we have this 1 all over 2 raised to 1 times x raised to 4, okay? So we need to ch change the sign positive. So the answer is simply 1 all, all over 2x raised to 4. So that is our final answer. Okay? So again, we apply the concept of this negative exponent number 1. So again, according to the, um, the concept of negative exponent, so if we have this negative exponent, just flip, okay, the given expression and change the um, exponent, the sign to positive. So um, we have this given example according to our illustration we have if we have x raised to negative 3 okay since that is in negative exponent so we need to reciprocate the value since this expression we have this invisible um, denominator as 1 therefore it will give us 1 all over x raised to 3. Okay so that is the answer. Next let's try to answer this given problem. Let's say we have okay um, let's say we have 3 or the quantity of 3x raised to negative 2, right? So again, since we have this 
um, rule. We need to distribute the value of our exponent to each basis or base. So it will give us 3 raised to negative 2 times x raised to negative 2. Right? Since we have these negative exponents, we need to reciprocate or flip this expression. So we have this um, invisible denominator as 1. So it will give us 1 all over and change the sign of their corresponding exponents. So we have negative 2. So it will give us positive 2 times x raised to negative 2. And change the sign, we have positive 2. So it will give us 1 all over 3 squared is equals to 9. And times x squared, which is 9x squared. So this is our final answer. Okay, so that is for the negative exponent number 1. Next, how about negative exponent number 2? Or the second rule for negative exponent. So for the second rule of negative exponent, so if we have this denominator as a negative, uh, with negative okay, exponent, so we simply need to reciprocate the given value. Okay? Same with our previous concept. So let's say we have this given problem according to our illustration. We have 1 all over x minus 5 or x raised to negative 5. Okay? So again, since we have this um, negative exponent to our denominator, so just split this given expression. A1 all over x raised to negative 5. So just reciprocate the value. Okay? Therefore, it will give us x raised to 5. So from negative, it will give us positive value all over 1 or simply x raised to 5. Okay, so that is the concept of this negative exponent number 2. Okay, so let's try to answer this given um, example. Let's say we have this. Okay, let's say we have 3 all over 2x or the quantity of 3 all over 2x raised to negative 2. Alright, so again, since we have this given exponent, okay, and we have this base with numerator and denominator, let's distribute the value of our exponent to its basis. So it will give us 3 raised to negative 2 all over 2 raised to negative 2 times x raised to negative 2. Okay, so again, since we have this negative set of exponents, we need to reciprocate the given um, terms. Okay. So if you want to reciprocate this or flip this expression, it will give us 2 raised to positive 2, okay? So from negative, it will give us a positive 2 times x raised to positive 2 again. We have this negative exponent. That is all over 3 raised to positive 2. So we have this negative exponent um, from our numerator, okay? So according to this given expression, so just simplify this. 2 raised to 2, or 2 squared is equals to 4, times x squared, or 4x squared, all over 3 squared, that is equals to 9. So we have 4x squared all over 9. So that is our final answer. Alright? So next, our last um, rule here, property here, is we have um, this, what we so call zero exponent. Okay? So according to zero exponent, um, anything to the zero power except 0 is 1. Okay, so that means if we have this given expression, okay, or any expression or base raised to 0, that is always equals to 1. So according to our illustration, we have this example. We have negative 4x or the quantity of negative 4x raised to 0. Okay, so that is equals to 1. Right, so if you want to distribute this exponent, so it will give us negative 4 raised to 0. Okay, times x raised to 0. So if you want to simplify this, since negative 4 raised to 0 is equals to 1, we have 1 times x raised to 0, which is 1 again. So we have 1 times 1 is simply equals to 1. Okay, so that is the concept of zero exponent. So any term or base raised to 0 that is equals to 1. So let's try to answer this example number 2. Let's say we have this quantity of x squared raised to 0, right? Since um, we need to apply the concept of um, power rule here, so we need to multiply this exponent to our um, given exponent from our base. Therefore, it will give us x raised to 2 times 0, which is equals to 2 times 0 is equal to 0. So we have x raised to 0, which is equals to 1. Okay, so that is the concept of this zero exponent.
right so again that's the entire concept of this different properties under the loss of exponents now let's try to answer some set of problems okay we're in let's um combine some of the properties and answer this set of problems let's say example number one okay, for our problem number one let's say we have um let's say four or quantity of four x raised to negative three times two x squared okay so if you um if you want to multiply this set of expression again just multiply the numerical coefficient to another numerical coefficients and variables to another set of variables so it will it will give us um four times two okay so we have four times two times we have this we need to multiply x raised to negative three and x squared since we want to multiply this given expression so again according to our quotient or product rule and we have this set of exponents so we need to simply um, add their exponent so it will give us x raised to negative 3 plus 2 okay so let's simplify it will give us 4 times 2 which is equals to 8 times x raised to negative 3 plus 2 okay negative 3 plus 2 is equals to negative 1 so we have 8x raised to negative 1 since we have this negative exponent we need to reciprocate this term so it will give us 8 all over x raised to 1 or simply 8 over x so that is the answer right so next let's answer problem number 2 so for problem number 2 let's say we had this given expression let's say we have um, the quantity of 2x cubed times y raised to negative 3 times 2x raised to negative 1 times y cubed okay so again um, just multiply number to number and variable to variable so it will give us this so we have 2 times 2 okay so we have 2 times 2 times next one is x cubed times x raised to negative 1 so we need to add their exponents their corresponding exponents so therefore it will give us times x raised to 3 plus negative 1 okay next times we also have y raised to negative 3 times y cubed okay so it will give us y raised to negative 3 plus positive 3 okay and let's simplify this set of terms okay so number 1 is 2 times 2 so it will give us positive 4 okay times x raised to 3 plus negative 1 so let's simplify this we have 3 plus negative 1 that is equals to 2 okay so we have x raised to 2 or x squared okay times we have y raised to negative 3 plus 3 okay which is equals to 0 so we have y raised to 0 and by simplifying this expression it will give us 4x squared since y raised to 0 is equals to 1 okay this is actually equals to 1 so times 1 so the answer for this given problem is simply 4x squared okay so that is for our example number 2 we have 4x squared next for example number 3 let's say we have this let's say we have quantity of 4x cubed 4x cubed y squared okay times 3 times uh, um, x raised to negative 4 times y raised to negative 3 okay so again same procedure so let's multiply number to number and variables to variables so we have 4 times neg 4 times 3 so we have 4 times 3 okay times well, we also have this x cubed times x raised to negative 4 since we have the same base copy the base and add their exponents so it will give us 3 plus negative 4 okay times we also have y so we have y squared times y raised to negative 3 so we need to simply add their exponents again so it will give us y raised to 2 plus negative 3 and let's simplify so we have 4 times 3 so that is equals to 12 okay so it will give us 12 
times x raised to 3 plus negative 4 so let's simplify this okay 3 plus negative 4 which is equals to negative 1 so we have x raised to negative 1 right so times we have y okay raised to 2 plus negative 3 so 2 plus negative 3 is actually equals to negative 1 again so we have y raised to negative 1 okay so therefore this equals to 12 x raised to negative 1 y raised to negative 1 since we have this negative exponents let's reciprocate or flip this expression or basis so it will give us 12 okay all over so we have 12 all over um, x raised to negative 1 so let's flip this it will give us x raised to 1 and y raised to negative 1 it will give us y raised to 1 so, or simply 12 all over x y so that is our answer okay next um let's have another example let's say example number four so for example number four let's say we have um this let's say we have four and let's say that is equals let's say we have four r raised to zero okay raised to four right so the quantity of four r raised to zero raised to 4. So again, same procedure, let's distribute the value of our exponent, so it will give us 4 raised to 4, okay, times r raised to 0 times 4. So this is um, power rule, okay? So we distribute the exponent to its basis, corresponding base, we have 4 raised to 4, and we have 4 raised to r, uh, we have r raised to 0 times 4, okay? So if you want to simplify this, it will give us 4 raised to 4 is equal to 2, 5, 6, okay, times r raised to 0 times 4. So 0 times 4 is equal to 0, okay? That means since we have this r raised to 0, this is equal to 1. So it will give us 2, 5, 6 times 1, or simply 2, 5, 6. So that is our answer, okay? So next, example number 5. Um, so for example number 5 let's say we have this expression let's say we have um, 2x raised to 4 times y cube times z cube okay all over let's say we have 3x squared y squared and z raised to 4 okay so if we have this given um, problem again same procedure so we need to divide um, the numerical coefficient to another numerical coefficient okay since you want to divide this um, we have 2 over 3 so we can divide the va those values okay so it will give us 2 over 3 and we have this x okay x raised to 4 all over x squared since you want to divide this um, expression so we need to simply subtract okay their exponent so it will give us x raised to 4 minus 2 okay so since the um the biggest or the bigger exponent is placed to our numerator so we, it will give us or let's locate the expression to our numerator next um we also have this y cube okay all over y squared so again copy the variable or the base and subtract its exponent so times y raised to 3 minus 2 right so for our last term we have um, z cube okay all over z raised to 4 since we have this exponent okay our bigger exponent is located to our denominator so let's write this expression to our denominator so we have so we have z raised to 4 minus 3 right so this is one of our techniques so let's simplify this so it will give us 2 all over 3 so x raised to 4 minus 2 is equals to 4 um, x squared okay times y raised to 3 minus 2 which is equals to 1 so we have y raised to 1 all over 3 times z raised to 4 minus 3 and that is equals to z raised to 1 so the answer for this given problem is simply 2x squared y all over 3z so that is our final answer right so that is for example number five 
Next, example number six. So for example number six, let's say we have this um four x raised to zero, okay? Y raised to negative two and z cube or raised to neg to positive three all over four x. Okay? So again, since we have this um expression or term which is x raised to zero, so that is actually equals to one. So if we want to rewrite this expression or problem, it, it is this one is actually equals to four times one y negative 2 z cube all over 4x okay since we want to divide this so just cancel out this 4 right so it will give us y raised to negative 2 z cube all over x okay since we have this um negative exponent okay we have this y raised to negative 2 let's flip this one and change the sign of our exponent to positive so it will give us so the remaining value for our to our numerator we have z raised to cube or 3 all over x and let's change the sign of our exponent as positive 2 so we have z cube all over x y squared so that is our final answer all right so for our final example let's say um for example number seven so for example number seven, let's say we have this. Let's say we have three x cubed, okay, times y raised to negative one, times z raised to negative one, all over x raised to negative four, times y raised to zero and z raised to zero. Okay. So again, if you want to rewrite this given expression, since we have this set of exponents equal to zero, so it will give us three x cubed y raised to negative 1 z raised to negative 1 all over x raised to negative 4 and we have this y raised to 0 which is equals to 1 okay times 1 times another z raised to 0 which is equals to 1 okay so that means if you want to rewrite this expression this is actually equals to 3x cubed y raised to negative 1 z raised to negative 1 all over x raised to negative 4 alone okay so we have 1 times w times 1 which is 1 next um since we have this expression so we only have a single like term here which is x raised to 3 all over x raised to negative 4 right so let's simplify this so it will give us 3 times x okay so since we want to divide this we need to subtract their exponent so the big um our biggest exponent here is located to our numerator which, which is positive 3 so it will give us 3 minus negative 4 okay so then, then copy the remaining terms which is y raised to negative 1 and z raised to negative 1 so let's simplify this so it will give us 3 raised to, um times x raised to 3 minus negative 4 so 3 minus negative 4 this is actually equals to 3 plus 4 or 7 Okay, times y raised to negative 1, z raised to negative 1. And let's flip this terms or base with negative exponent. So the final answer for this given problem is actually equals to 3x raised to 7 all over y, z. So that is our final answer. Right, so again, thank you so much and God bless.